Oh, I would hate me if I was you guys right now. The only kind of thing missing is a cappuccino. But I wanted to take a minute and talk about this Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Now, you want to talk about dedication. I got Italy playing Croatia shortly. I don't know if you guys remember my dilemma. I'm a half Italian, half Croatia, watching Croatia play for their Euro lives in Italy in front of the Italian fans. What do I do? How about I just stay on this balcony and watch the game so I don't, I don't know, have something bad happen to me when I'm in such a beautiful place. But let's talk about this Stanley Cup Game 7. I don't know what much of the discourse is out there. I would imagine that the majority of people are just doing their full gargoyle, and I don't want to do the gargoyle voice in such a fine establishment. So I will not mimic the mindless gargoyle, gargoyle gambler. And I'm going to tell you that I'm taking the Florida Panthers, despite the fact that they lost three in a row, and you got all the momentum. And by the way, everybody always wants to say the most recent, oh, is this the biggest choke job? Is this bigger than the 04 Yankees Red Sox? Absolutely not. I do hate baseball, but that was always not the case. The baseball comeback from 03 has happened one time and one time only. That is a monumental collapse. And as far as my memory is concerned, I remember the Yankees had a lead late. They had their closer in, in both games four and five in Fenway Park. So you want to talk about blowing it, being up 3 nothing in the series, having a lead in game four, having a lead in game five, and not being able to close it out. This is different. Edmonton actually carried the play for the chunk of these early games. And then they were rewarded with a couple of wins, so it's not like it's some huge surprise, but I do think Florida will save their best for last. In fact, them having to play catch-up has worked against them this entire time. I mean, they're such a good team with the lead. Edmonton scoring first has helped them monumentally, along with the fact that they can score on the power play. Their lone power play goal, which I talked to you guys about a few games ago, was their second unit at the end of a double minor. Evan Rodriguez got one in. It's gotten so bad that they've shuffled Montour off the top power play. And now for this game, they've removed Carter Verhage from the top power play. And I'm going to start in a real weird place. If you have the ability to add power play point unders, as I told you, in these earlier games, just put somebody from the top Tampa, uh, Tampa, the top Florida unit, and you can juice up anything you like. If there's a minus 165, if you want to take those Evan Rodriguez over one and a half shots on goal, which I believe have hit in every single game other than one in this series, but you don't like the price on it, you can take the under half of a power play point for Carter Verhage, who's currently on the second unit. So we're getting, I know this is, I know, this is where you're going to start us, but I promise you, this is actually my favorite thing on the night. Using ESPN bet or score bet in Canada from Amalfi and adding that under half of a Carter Verhage power play point for whatever it is that you like on this particular night with Game 7 of the Stanley Cup. Now, if there's one thing you've learned from my video, by the way, you're still hating me as much, look, look at this. You should really be, you should be celebrating the dedication. Would you be doing this? Would you be doing this in your Val Venus towel? I don't think so. You'd be out there somewhere trying to get a good seat for the Croatia-Italy game. Anyway, Game 7, if you've learned one thing from this channel and my videos, it's the most clenched of ass cheeks you'll ever find anywhere. You look at every Game 7, leading up to this Game 7. I mean, I guess you can say that Edmonton-Vancouver one was a little hairy, but it was 3-2. to two. Stayed under. You guys obviously remember the Boston-Toronto game. Nobody wants to make a mistake. And speaking of those power plays, you're getting max two power play opportunities on both sides because the refs don't want to decide Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, you're going to see people get away with penalties. Who do you think that favors? I think I know. But anyway... 
I like the Florida Panthers in this game. I told you the Carter Verhage power play point under, along with the Brandon Montour power play point under, they're both on the second unit. And in a game where there are two power plays max called, I know, that's weird. That's a, what is this guy giving us? Any sort of unders is what I like for this game. Oh, Connor McDavid, it's one and a half. I'll take the under on any sort. I, I believe if you take every single point under in this game, every single listed player, and you take every single one for 100, you'll win. You'll win because it's a game seven. And you're always looking at a three to one, a three to two. I do think there is a potential for a Florida beating for whatever reason. You know, venting out all those frustrations, three to four games worth of pent up frustrations. I guess time will tell. You know, we'll see what Bobrovsky has to offer in this game. I think is he pulling that scam where he misses practice so people can have that built in excuse? I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I'm taking the Panthers in this one and I'm gonna let you guys know if you want to get into any sniff theory you guys obviously know I have twenty thousand dollars on the line I have the Panthers to win the series and I have the Connor McDavid consmite which I guess is as close to guaranteed as you can get it's minus two thousand so the hard part is done what would you do in my scenario would you just sit there like a doofus and watch and hope that you won both or would you use a little bit of your noggin use a little bit of creativity I'll tell you a couple of the treat things I'm gonna do the, e the easy thing you can do is you put about 1500 on Edmonton to score the first goal right because I have you remember the initial layouts I can't add graphics to this you get in one upload and that's it but if you remember, it was like 12.8 thousand to win, or, or 12.5 thousand to win 10 thousand on Florida. So I'll put about 1,500, 2,000, something like that, because you know I have 10 thousand in winnings to work with. Edmonton first goal. You're gonna put that much on the first goal? Yes, because I want to take anything that can hedge the bet and also still have the Panthers hit. So if I do that with Edmonton with the first goal, or I do that Edmonton plus 125 or plus 130 race to two, because they could get to two first and still lose the game, and another like 1,000 or 1,500 on that, I want to give myself opportunities to now not only double scam, but actually triple scam. And if they do let up the first goal, if Florida goes up one to nothing, yes, you flush that 1500 out the window. But then guess what? You have the Oilers' money line at an unbelievable price because they're trailing and you can live bet them at what, plus two something? Then you make one final hedge to get half those, half that 12 and a half thousand back. You know you obviously have the McDavid in the bag. And if you don't think that you have that in the bag, then you just put a few hundred on the bark off plus 800 or whatever his MVP odds are. That's how it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed the Stanley Cup Final. I hope you enjoyed this full season. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous. We're still going on here. This is getting uploaded right to you. Don't ask for good thumbnails. Don't ask for anything. Don't ask for me to retape this. I'll see you guys when I get back in a few days. Also, Josh is still posting stuff on the Patreon, and he's putting the daily baseball picks, and apparently they've been killing it, so... Go up, sign up over there. It's patreon.com slash Andy Francis. I am answering in that chat with the NHL. Yeah, 2 a.m. I'm staying up till I see Connor McDavid in a dejected fashion taking his con smite in a losing effort. All right, guys. Good luck with whatever you guys got out there. I'll talk to you later.